Hey everybody, Flexport Watch. You've seen pro athletes wearing these bracelets and now Flexport have put their negative iron technology into a lightweight, stylish and waterproof digital watch. If you don't already know, negative irons are scientifically proven to boost strength, balance, endurance and cum loads. (laughs) The last one I made up, but you never know. Yeah. So whether you're already in shape and you want to improve fitness and you need an extra boost to get started, the Flex Sport Watch is for you. Only twelve ninety five, which I think is very reasonable for strength, balance, and endurance. It comes in four cool colors: red, white, black, and pink. Not those uncool colors like orange or yellow or yellow. Yellow like those cancer bands. Yellow is so two thousand. Like Lance Armstrong. All that does is tell people that you know people with cancer. Flexsportwatch.com for all your flexing watch needs. Yeah, you want to flex and you want to band it up, band it up with flex. Sport. Me and Eddie are wearing them right now, and we haven't fallen over for days. No. <laughs> it's amazing. We can get so drunk. We can get so drunk. We throw up, but we don't fall over. We walk home, and when you get pulled over for a DUI... And I actually, cop- in saying that, I have used one, and I do think they work. And when the cops pull you over and, and do your DUI test, and they say, can you walk this straight line? Just go, hold on. Let me put on my Flex Sport watch. And at that point, you will pass that part of the test. Good luck with your ABCs, fuckface. <laughs> Everybody knows Western Union. That name's so common. And I know them. You do, yes. And you're even you're not even from the West. You're I from, am from the West. I'm a white person. Uh, all right. Well, well, Western Union. They're not just uh, a way to send money to Mexico anymore, like Ernie knows about. Go to our website, and you can do all kinds of stuff. You can send money to family and friends in 135. On our countries. website. On our website, if you go through Western Union, you can send money. Like Ernie, you can get the rest of your family probably through the tunnels. All you got to do is send the money through Western Union, 135 different countries. If you, you probably have people in Honduras, El Salvador, places like that. Put money on prepaid cards. You can do that. Jason, you can put money on prepaid cards so you can live. You do that. You can pay bills online. Oh, you don't have bills. Yeah. Well, and you can also pay domestic or foreign mortgages, auto, credit cards, insurance, utility, government, and other types of bill payments. Jim knows about that stuff. You got lots of bills. I've been paying bills for years. Right. You can, you, can, you can pay to have dogs put down. So uh, go to Western Union. Uh, send funds any time of day or night to almost anywhere in the world, 135 currencies. All you got to do is go to JimAndEddieTalkShit.com. They also have tons of new business solutions. Go there. Click on the banner on our website, JimAndEddieTalkShit.com, and get signed up. That's Western Union. Western Union. They put the fun in funds. Hey, everybody. Uh, before we start this episode with Brad Garrett from Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah, you remember him from that, but he does a lot of other stuff too. Amazing stuff, this guy. He's big, he's tall, he's here, he's in the rape cottage. But before we start the show, I want you guys to do a bunch of stuff. We are part of the Fake Mustache Network now. Check out the Fake Mustache Network. Listen to all their shows. Listen to our other shows. We've got shows like the Wadcast, the Moncast, and also the Brian McCarthy Interview Show. Please, nobody's listening to that show. It's fucking hysterical. If you've heard Brian on our show, he's hysterical. Do us a favor and go listen to the Brian McCarthy Interview Show. All you got to do is go to iTunes and you can find it. While you're on iTunes, uh, Rate our show. Give us five stars. Tell us how much you're a big fan of the show. Comment. Good comments help us in the rankings. Go to our website, jimandeddytalkshit.com. You can do a million things on there. Besides clicking the banner for Western Union, you can buy packages. They're like 50, 75, 100, 200, 500, what? I don't care. A billion. You get all kinds of things. TVs, T-shirts, flat screens, heroin, uh, stickers, uh, babies. You can buy a lot of babies. You get uh, pregnant women. You get get all kinds of shit. You can get a shiv. Shivs are $5. You can get stickers. Just buy shit on our website. We got all kinds of new shit on there, too, like archived episodes. You can buy those. You can buy video podcasts. It's all on JimAndEddieTalkShit.com. Go on there. Take your pants off. Pull it out. Start whacking it and have fun on our site. Also, if you want to see us live, that's Jim live or Eddie live. Jim's going to be August 31st at the Alhambra Theater. The Alhambra Theater. I have no fucking idea where the Alhambra Theater is, but Google it. I'm sure you'll find out. On September 1st, he'll be at the Mill Volve Tyne Theater. I know these are over in the UK somewhere. Go check those out. If you want to see Eddie, that's me, 
August 2nd to 4th, I'll be in Seattle, Washington at the Comedy Underground. August 14th to 20th, I'll be in Adelaide, Australia. Then I go to Brisbane, Australia. Then I go to Melbourne, Australia. Then I go to, uh, I go to Sydney, Australia. And if you want to know where any of my Australian dates are, I keep getting emails. Everybody wants to know where they are. Just go to alist.com.au. That's alist.com.au. Has all my dates in Australia there, and you can buy tickets through there. So do that. And now let's just let's all enjoy this episode together with Brad Garrett. Two douchebags on a couch. One's a nestle, one's a grouch. And relentless. Oh, Hey everybody, welcome to Talking Shit with Jim Jeffries, Eddie Ifta. Uh, we are Should we here do the ads first, sorry? No, we'll do the ads before. We do them, you know. You have we, ads? Yeah, you heard the ads. They, they already heard them, you didn't hear them, and you didn't hear them, but they heard them because we pre-record them. And whoever we're advertising, we're right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. And, and, we, and we believe wholeheartedly in all your products. Whatever products they Who may the hell be. would advertise? Shh. You, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 we've only Dick? just got them in. We're trying right. to learn. And, i got to know who Andy, the advertisers Andy are. Dick made us lose our last ad. Don't do it. Andy Dick. Uh, and that was okay. for sex toys. Yeah, we had sex toys. How do you lose a job of advertising? They said, they said we weren't what their brand wanted. <laughs> do you know how Andy offensive Dick? you have to be? What, what he, he, he what said that them? their products give you AIDS. Is that what he said? Yeah. 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 Okay. Which is yeah. how Andy well, keeps ain't. his weight down. That's not how I... That's not <laughs> <laughs> you can't drink as much as that and stay as thin as Andy without a bit of AIDS mixed could in with he, the pool. Could he out-drink you, Jim? Ah! Oh! He can out-drink... He can out-drink Ireland. Andy Dick is... is <laughs> I've never the seen The thing is, he gets like drunk that. quick, but he doesn't pass out. No. I hear that Lovitz beat him up. Do you know if that's true? Oh, that's a true story. Yeah, that's, that's a true story. True. Because, really? because John Lovitz claimed that he got <coughs> Phil Hartman's wife back on drugs, and that's why she shot Phil Hartman. It's a pretty big accusation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Lovitz did, from what I heard, like smashed his head off, like like grabbed him by the head and fucking was like beating the shit out of him. And you know what that means to me? They're never bringing back news radio. They could. <laughs> and, they could. And, <laughs> it's like, yeah, TV land. Think about they, that. They bring it back. The two, like, two guys to fight that you would, the, like, that's probably the worst steel cage match ever. Lovett versus Andy Dick. Just the, buy all the just the that. voices. Just, you Perfect. wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah. know who was going, the, the voices. Ah, we're having a fight. Ah, ah. Now in the ass. Now in the ass. <laughs> that would hurt. That's not a fist. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here, if you've heard, with uh, our guest, Brad Garrett. Uh, oh, Brad, who is, uh, uh, well, everybody knows who he is except for Farside, uh, because uh, do we have his bio? Or your landlord. Uh, or your landlord. My landlord no, your landlord. She great. never comes in to see I, anyone. I she was that. so excited she that you were no I think she faked it. I think she, she did fake it. I think she, no, she played she had that no game. no idea, Jim. She yeah. had no idea. That old well, Jew broad with those <laughs> fucking tits around her knees. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's, right. you know, with the gay neighbors. Yeah, it's got. She's just so. I mean, God. <laughs> Joe, Joe. That's why you move out of your house and you end up with one of those in your fucking yard. <laughs> it's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> you know, it's just unbelievable. I'm Joe, telling you. You might as well live with your parents for the rest of your life if you live next door to. Her. Mm, yeah, Joe. True. Joe, the uh, you know the guy that runs the garage that you hate. Oh, I hate him. Yeah. Oh, I got a great spot. Jim. <laughs> yeah. He, he Brad well, pulled up and he, he went. I'm, I know, know him. Fucking Iranian. He, That's he goes, why he helped. Where does he want to? Where does he want to park? And I'm like yeah. right down there. This is the thing is, I paid for parking <coughs> in that place for like two years, and he never had a spot for me. It, and I paid. And for he it. paid for his spot. <laughs> and I paid for his spot. He oh. would yell at me and swear you a, and. You just, need some Jews in your life, Jim. You got to pay goes, for shit you don't get. He goes, Brad, anything you need, anything, and he parked his car. Don't do the resin, please. No one no, cares about. I this. have to read your bio. No, I'm it's, begging it's, you. Far side. It's a funny one. <laughs> it's really, it's I don't know. Be. It'll mention it's everyone loves Raymond. I hope not. No, no. Here's what it says. Okay. Tonight's guest is Brad Garrett. He's a Woodland Hills baby and raised by his parents out there. Now he runs his own comedy club in Vegas at the MGM. Mm. Something was done right. I blame the parents. He's been in tons of stuff. He was Fatso and Casper. Who wrote this? Farsa. Re really? Acting, acting side to Jay Moore and Christopher Walken in Suicide Kings. Su uh, Stuart Little, too. His major television credits include the Emmy Award-winning series on Seinfeld, Once or Twice. Has the episode where I cried over Jason hit the street yet? It's pretty rad having him on the show. So let's show him some love. Brad Garrett. 
Well, there you go. He didn't even mention Everybody Loves Raymond. Did That's okay. But and you he's know, got who, another sitcom at cares? the moment. I mean, look at who we're talking to. Yeah. Y- y- you know, seriously. You're in Suicide Kings. Suicide. <laughs> Had a little... Po- <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter <laughs> O'Fallon directed... Did the that guy, open? He's the guy I'm doing the TV show. Is he, he directing it? He's co- co- co-creator, producer, and directing. Oh, well, that's... Uh, you're, you're in good hands. Oh, good. You are in good hands, man. I Am I? Good. I'm with Farside. Uh, you, you're you're do you, do you want a, do you, do you want a guest spot? I would love one. I'll Are you see, kidding me? As, as long as I get to bring Eddie. Eddie's yeah. got to be, you know. You can be twins. Too. A, yeah. You can be twins. <laughs> that could, I love that. Siamese <laughs> twins. You're would the Schwarzenegger. I'm the, I'm the DeVito. I'll hold the liver to your life. I will be well, the That would liver. be cool to have a Siamese because you would just dangle off the side of him. Like, <laughs> it would be good. <laughs> like, like you'd be just the little gimpy one. I, yeah. Well, yeah well, you of could course. Be, you could be <laughs> the partially <laughs> consumed yeah. twin. We couldn't reach the toothbrush around with our arms to that side of the body. Or you could play my wiener to the Siamese twins. Twin, you could be because I've always wanted. You know, it's small. We've talked about. Oh, it. Oh, we have talked about. We have this. talked about it. It's all in. But um, Jason's I, getting one line in. in wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to talk about this. <coughs> you, you were fired. Why are you here? I don't know. Okay, that's two times he's come back to the show. You were fired at the end of the last episode. You were fired. I was. Yes. You were. Oh, I didn't. No one told me that. All right. I did. I said you're fired. You're not funny anymore. <laughs> you aren't funny anymore. You well, you're funny. Was... This is why the fans gave up on you. I got angry at you over the Jay Moore and Bob Saget episodes. But then you were never funny ever again. What happened? Wait, I was funny in Vegas. You were horrible, no, you were horrible in, Vegas. in Vegas. God, I keep hearing that myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, you're not alone. Hang in there. And Brad has his own club in Vegas. Yeah, and I'm horrible in Vegas. With the best green room you've ever been in in your whole life. <laughs> Why is it such a great green the room? The best green room you've there, ever been in. Is there women? That, no. There, no. Yeah. No, there can be. I, I've known it's better. I've you. known better alleyways. Well, tell let's, you, play, <laughs> let's just. T- I'll tell you this. Play the club. We'll load it with whatever you want, Jim. None. Right, of, none on. of his waitresses have their own breasts. That's true. None of them. Yeah, I, I, I'm saying to believe. I, I, I would have to say the last five women I've had sex with all had fake tits. I'm saying to believe that no one has real tits anymore. In uh, you, in I do. Your world. I have trouble with the machetes. Are yeah. Uh, all of your moms. Look have at our real sound tits. man just chugging a beer. It's, it's unbelievable. It, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Machete's a coke addict. Is he? All right. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> not, not an addict. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You imagine how big yeah. he was before he got I don't on think the he'd coke. Be hovering around four hundred if he was a fucking addict. Do you? What I mean? <laughs> I, he's, the, he's the only guy on coke that I can see that eats a full meal. Yeah, he gets is the that, mu- he gets yeah. the he gets coke the makes m- him eat faster. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. He gets the munchies after a bump. Jason. Jason, he so sprinkles it like Jason's sugar on his cornflakes. Now, nice. now, Jason, nice. uh, just real quickly, was a homeless guy that lived on our couch. That was we, a homeless guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You moved uh, out of your apartment. I'm, yeah, I'm at MSGs right now. He's yeah, li- so he's, he's sleeping on someone else's couch. He's moment. sleeping nice. at a, pl- a guy's place that has MS that he takes care of. Well, I help him. I don't take care you, of him. You help him. Right. You help him. You take well, up couch space. How do you help him? What the hell could he do for well, him? What can you do? Well, I make him lattes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. that's all yeah. you need that with a bad so nervous system. It, that's, yeah. Bad nervous system. Give you a bit of caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's shaky. See if this takes the edge off. <laughs> <laughs> Triple latte for my friend. <laughs> Is there anything you could do for Brad? Sure. Like what? Whatever. Like really? tell him your skills. I don't have a couch. I build I things. Know. I fix things. I clean things. I you right, know, so whatever. You I, What's the last thing you cleaned? I clean the, uh, the the bathroom you today. Should, you should start with your body. <laughs> I'm clean today. I took a shower. I'm in good shape. He's a little of. tangy. Now we're going to me. I've spoken to O'Fallon. We're going to give you one line. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, in, in your new show? Yeah. And then we're cutting it out. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to let him have that hope, that optimism. Yeah. That, but you will be on set. You will be paid as a p- extra with a line. It's going to happen. And when does it air, Jim? Tell us about the show. Ah, uh, first week in January. I'm taking over from the Charlie Sheen spot in the off season. So he's getting good, very good ratings. I don't think it carries over that Has way. It started I don't think management? people get so programmed. Charlie Sheen's show started. I heard he got one of those like Tyler. Was, he got like a Tyler Perry deal. Yes, he where did. Where they've got to make like 300 episodes. No, no, but it's, it's the highest rating TV show in cable history. Yeah, it was like 5 million viewers. Uh, five and a half million they got. Is and, that and it right? Put, it put Louis up by 70% and Wilfred up by like 80%. Wow. So it, yeah. uh, it was a good deal for him evidently. Yeah. And he got 90 episodes out of it. Good and for I, him. I'm just hoping that like people get programmed into that time slot, and then they just, oh, they don't even know they're watching Well, that's me. a great slot to take off. Yeah, but that also can, that can backfire on you. You can be that guy ah! that comes in really high, and the next week they're like, I've ruined wow, we- Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you Whitney. 
<laughs> yeah, poor, poor Whitney. I, I feel sorry for Whitney from time to time because everyone slags her off so much. But then she gets a second season, and you're like, yeah, yeah. "All right, keep you, on going." You could fucking yeah. crucify me for for one season. I'll take it. She has not one, two. She has three shows, right? I th- well, I think she's uh, the other one. I think is axed. She has she has one less than STDs that she has. She has the nice. talk show on E, right? It's coming on. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that hasn't that's started right. yet, but that Jesse will. works on E. Uh, yeah. He's and he's also the band that. Uh, that's weird because Machete works on Coke. <laughs> 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 how much Coke can this guy do? Oh, I mean, he does. does, uh, it, does yeah. it do you don't it? know how big he used to be. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we were doing the show for three episodes. We had only we didn't even know him. So a friend like got him for us yeah. and. Uh, we were out in a bar one night, and we, we were with this like rapper from England. He's like, hey, let's do a podcast right now. And we were like, it's 3 in the morning. And he goes, call your guy. So we call him. Machete, can you um, record? Can I just say, because Example's angry about this, uh, this is all just hearsay and not the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so, it's important. Uh, so we did and the I'm show. not here. We did the show, and we, or we call Machete. We go, hey, can you come do the show? He goes, sure. It's 3 in the morning. Sure, I'll be over. And then Example goes, or uh, I go. Jim goes, uh, can you get some Coke? He goes, sure. <laughs> and just shows up and uh, the next thing you know Jason got punched in it the was, face it was times. like the Paramount Mountain it was I, a big stack of it I went on the run oh. with him did you, where did he take you? to some West LA neighborhood I didn't know where I was were you, did you feel like you were in colors? some dude ran up to the car threw it in fucking out you know it was like Breaking Bad yeah Oh, I no, love those drug deals. Terrible. Yeah, I love it where you got to meet a guy in a car and it's all fucking uh, sketch. It, like Everybody's it, looking around. It's like when a hooker <laughs> comes to the door and you open the door and you just don't know whether you're going to get mugged or not. That thrill. <laughs> the uh, worst. Or the pregnant. Worst. <laughs> or, or pregnant. pregnant. Yeah, yeah you don't know if you're going to yes. get a hooker pregnant. The worst deal I ever went to was a guy was getting a tattoo inside the house while I was trying to get drugs, and I was like, I need to leave. And it was I was the only white person there, and it was. Literally a guy. That scares, oh, the yeah. worst, that scares me even if I'm buying Bibles. The scariest deal, <laughs> the scariest deal I ever did was World Cup 90-something uh, in Germany. I took my father out to see the World Cup in Germany. This is where he made the uh, Nazi remark. The Nazi <laughs> remark. That is Lovely. true. I'll tell you the difference between that joke in reality and that joke on stage. When, when I'm on stage and we're all packed in a train and there's Brazilians and there's uh, Australians, and we're all chanting at each other, and then my father goes, this is how they used to transport the Jews. On stage, I act like it was really embarrassing. In reality, everyone high fived my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I'm, you're I'm, fucking German. Like, what, what do you expect? Like the, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone was like, ah, that's a good one. Of course. <laughs> and then, like, he tried to push the joke by going, some of them didn't even make it. And I was yeah. like, no, nah, you've had your big laugh. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, Let settle it down. Let it rust. Yeah, yeah. Can you um, really top that? Joke. But I've heard you can get in a lot of trouble. We are a buddy of mine in Germany in October. What, teasing the Jews? No, Is this no. the first time you've heard about this? I, I, think, I think you can do that in Germany. No, a friend of mine called a cop a Nazi and they threw him in jail for calling a cop a Nazi. Well, that's what the Nazis did. The guy's just living up to what he called him. Uh, All right, what do you guys want to talk about now? Well, I had something. Oh, the worst. So I was in Germany. So we go up into this office and uh, we're buying tickets. All the tickets were fucking gone for this World Cup. So Africa, easy to get tickets. This one was, you couldn't get a ticket, right? I, I was paying like, I think it was about 800 pounds a ticket to see Australia versus uh, Czechoslovakia or something. And so we go in. And I go up all these stairs and I got this number from this bloke and I go in and there's just two big black guys standing there, right? And a fucking young sort of skeevy looking little fuck with like a joint hanging out and a gun on the table, right? To and buy your tickets. To buy tickets. But he had a wa- <laughs> he had a wa- he had a pile of them. He was pulling them out like it was they were from a machine, right? What this guy had was Yahoo was meant to be the official website of the World Cup. And every time you logged into Yahoo, you had a chance of winning a ticket. No one had a chance. This cunt had all the tickets, right? And he had them in a big reel. And my dad's there going, oh, is the, is the gun really necessary? That's what my dad said. And the guy went to him. He goes, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, uh, what was I going to... Oh, t- I just got a thing in the mail from... Uh, you know, I get those cards from my girlfriend's mom that that, say, that she signs them Nick. My girlfriend's mom sends me these cards and they're disgusting, like really filthy. And then she... She sends si- me the same one. Yeah, and she signs them Nick, <laughs> really? but they're from her address, so I know who's sending them. She sent me a gift recently. I just got it. It's up there on the mantle. 
and it's it just penis said, pokey. Yeah, it's like, hey, oh, uh, put your dick in it. Yeah, come on, Eddie. It's far a, aside. Uh, have far you aside. It? It's a it's a book that has a hole in it, and right. you just put your cock through it, and uh-huh. then it tells a story through the hole. Far side, can you do it? No, you need it soft. Put one of your balls through it. <coughs> just hey, come on, we'll side, describe it. Come Farside, on, just start on the back page so you can get the length. Farside, <laughs> Farside, <laughs> go to the end. Farside has the smallest penis in the no, world. No, I saw an uh, Asian erect penis today, and it yeah, was not. You have the vision of an Asian and the penis than of that. an Asian. <laughs> no, Farside, nobody tops you. Shut Be up. proud. Yeah, I'm not that, proud of that. That is good. No, Asians do have a small penis. It's it looks like, have you ever seen a cashew you know, nut? You know when you're in the water and it gets really small when it's cold? You Put the sound it. guy's nipple in it. You live through that, enough that would, tsunamis. Uh, that'd be great. And then we can nurse the room. <laughs> let, let him do that. <laughs> then we'll get a churro. Put a churro through it. <laughs> but, far side, come on. There's a lot to do in this book. <laughs> <laughs> Far Go side. on, put your cock through it. Come on, far, far side. side. Please That's don't. Fair. Remember, it could it could affect your writing wait, 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 in yeah. the future. Wait, affect your bio writing. Wait, wait, wait. Show him. He was about to do it. He's about to do okay. it. Stop oh, he wasn't going to. No, he's but, about but, to leave. I, I, far no, side, really. do it. Do it. Far side, do it. Do it. Come no, on. No, no, finish your story. I'll buy a hat off you. Do it. I don't work at the hat store anymore. <laughs> then you've lost that deal. I don't work at that. <laughs> I don't work. At what 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 hat store? Did you used work? to work at Lids. 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 Nice. Yeah. What do you need? What, what do you need? I'll take care of you. Forty percent off. <laughs> I was going to buy a lot of hats. Jim Jeffries hats for the next tour. Yeah. Oh, they would still been nice. make them. I know people. Oh, you got connections. Oh, you're like Jason. <laughs> got Jason can get you lettuce. He knows a lettuce guy. Well, well he, he does a, herbs. No, too. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're getting off track here. Put your cock in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's see it. <laughs> This is going so oh, great. Okay. No, no, give me, give me the, oh, give me the book. I'm gonna. Choose, the book's called Penis I'm gonna, Pokey. I'm gonna choose. And no, your, but it tells a story. And your mother sent this, did she? Uh, my girlfriend's mother sent that to me. Oh, okay. She's a lot of fun. Oh um, boy. Um, let's have gay cowboy riding his penis. <laughs> Gay cowboy. I assume he's gay because he's riding a car. I don't know what you pay oh, for, really side. Weird. But no, no, no. Have to I want to do one him. specifically for Can Jim. Jim pump? doesn't get to yeah. see. Can we get a pump? Act, act, act like you're not taking a photo, Jesse. Please do make this one. Don't let Jim see do and do it. That's my favorite. Do it for Jim. All right, this All is right. going to be great. And then we'll explain. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh man, that book is now yours. Yeah, yeah, you own the book or until, yeah. until we get a new intern. Jason has to tongue the hole. Ugh. Oh, mommy. Oh, God. Oh, I can't believe small I drove an is. hour for this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you wouldn't drive two hours yeah. for this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> tell me, I know tell, you can't. Tell me you had something <laughs> better to do an hour ago. Uh, Come on. Uh, Am I doing uh, penis must balls? Be something better. Uh, what? Just penis or balls? Just penis. Your balls can't yeah. fit through that Just hole. Just your clit. I could get one. Just your clit. It's not. You could get probably <laughs> all right, all right. He picked a banana. All right. Okay. Jim hates bananas. I have to tell you, I haven't been in a lot of showers, but that looks like a black cock to me. Thank I you. don't know. Oh, it could be the pressure. Jim's poking it with a guitar. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, Thank right. you. Thank you. Okay. That was, uh, Good you work, know what's Farsa. scary? I almost gave him my keys to park for me. <laughs> See, that would have really... That would, I'm glad I thought great. That, that was yeah, really Feel free to something. touch that microphone. That was, uh, <laughs> that was some good podcast. Now we're talking about this. I is have our, to tell you, there, it sounds there good, are great on smaller. Radio. There are smaller. Really? There has to be. That was just a head. That That's all head. he has. It was just a head poking through. Oh, was that the head? Jim, what, yeah. do, you, what do you say it looks Did like? Do you think that was a... T- I say it looks like it's stone and it's sleeping on a beanbag. <laughs> okay. All right. Far was, side. Show me your tattoo. No, is we, the tattoo this, bigger? Is, this is bad podcasting. Yeah. I took video of the. You can uh, see the tattoo afterwards. Yeah, but we I, I got video. He's of it. got a tattoo of the logo of Talking Shit, the couch, and, then it, uh, and has Gemini's names on his back. There's a guy who's got me on his calf now. Brad's just staring Obviously, at him. He right started now. as a fa- no. He's staring at with, me, which is oh, fucking eerie. <laughs> but, 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 but I mean, he started as a with, fan. With Tim Mitchell, yeah. yeah. Of, he started as a fan. Yeah. And then you put him to work, and yep. I was showing his fucking pecker. Yep. And he okay. works for Jay Moore. And he works well. for Jay Moore's podcast, and he also works for Todd Glass. He's a podcast yeah. whore. He doesn't get his cock out as much in Todd Glass's one, though. Yeah. Yeah, you think <laughs> you would. You want to work weekends in Vegas? Sure. All right. You got him. He's there yours. You Thank you. What do you <laughs> need him for? Kenny Middle. Kenny Middle. You know, you know what? Yeah. What do you, you know need what's going to be great? One yeah. waitress with real tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, what, what can you do at the a comedy club? You want to work there on weekends? 
Yeah, that'd be fun. Don't oh, yeah. you want to be a comedian one day, Faso? Um, I, I like writing and directing comedy more than doing. Writing and directing. I, I need to tell you, I did a show this weekend at the Improv, and they just the Improv just randomly said, "Hey, can you do Friday night?" Yeah, and I do the show, and I show up, and it's Refried Fridays, which is the Mexican show, and I'm the only gringo on the show. Oh Jesus! And Farside asked for tickets because his mom and his sister are in town. Sure. So Does your you know, mom know what get... you're doing, Farside? Does, hmm? does your... No, I told them not to listen to the show. Okay, good. But you know, when you have a friend come to the show, they sit in the back and then sure. they talk to you. He sits in the front row. No, they put me in the front. No, you sat in the front row. I saw you. And oh my god! But he saw the lineup of the show and he saw refried. He thought it was a joke I was playing on him that I wasn't even there and I wasn't going on. You know, it was just all Mexicans. And at the end of the night, he's gonna be like, "Sorry, mom, I swear I know a comedian." But um, halfway through my set, I realized. Uh, do you remember Jim said that he likes to hit? Uh, hit fans on the head with, with the microphone. microphone. Yeah, I don't like, know what got into me. I started beating Farside on the head with so the microphone. It's so much fun, isn't it? I loved it. And people, like, when I walked off stage, people were like, I can't believe that guy didn't fuck you up. You were fucking beating him on the head with the microphone. And I would just do a joke and slam Farside in the head. And he just <laughs> sat through the whole thing. Did it hurt, Farside? Didn't feel good. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it felt better than putting your cock through a book, right? <laughs> What's better than that? <laughs> What? Yeah, with that. I, I, Fiona O'Loughlin's uh, <coughs> daughter Biddy uh, came and stayed with me one night. Um, and uh, da- daughter Biddy, Biddy, her name is Biddy. Her name is Biddy. She's B- from Australia. Okay, they're weird. They're weird. so so she's daughter. A, she's, yeah, a, a daughter. she's a oh, twenty. You have a daughter? No, no, no. A friend of mine's daughter. Oh, got it. Who's a comedian? Now Biddy's twenty three year old, pretty young lady, very nice girl, and she comes and she's like, "I'd like to play the improv." This is Monday night, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, I reckon I can get you a spot if you really want." Right, went down there. What's Monday night at the Improv? Mo Better Monday. Mo Better Monday. Black people. Yeah. And oh, uh, yeah, like th- that gig is so black. There's a guy selling trinkets outside on a table. It's not a uh, comic. He's just selling like incense sticks and like right. leather handbags with chicken. Like, yeah, chicken. Yeah, chicken. You, you could say it. it Right. It's. Uh, I mean, right. having uh, having booked the improv, the uh, pretty much the bouncers that work Mo Better Monday nights, they all request it because they can get blowjobs from chicks in line to really? get in to Mo Better Monday. It's like wow. That. wow. Like dudes would be like, "You want to get in? Go get me head in the alley, and then I'll get you in." I think that's like a Hasidic Friday. Really? Really? Yeah. So you got to do it through a sheet. Let me get these right. Black yeah, chicks yeah, just give out blowjobs like that? Yeah, it's it's definitely not like Hasidic Friday. That's that, like, that uh, never works no. with Crazy Australian Wednesdays. I hear the sisters don't don't dig that. Yeah, I don't think they. Oh, I went. No, no, they like giving to white guys because they don't get punched all the time. I see. Why they're doing it? When when I went to the Pussy Mary. 250 black strippers uh, they were given blowjobs for $20 yeah. wow where was this in New York City at, a, at a, a nightclub these guys rented out the nightclub on a Sunday night when they were closed Brilliant. and had 250 strippers the girls paid a strip but then they make money and tips and um, and uh Everyone was there. John Singleton was there. All the Jets. All these guys. Jackson Five. <laughs> <laughs> and girls are just Webster. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Coleman. Love it. Every small black guy. Uh, but the girls are Maxie just Maxie Bogues. <laughs> That was That's a good a, that one. Was my last small black guy I had. That is good. That was a really good reference. That is a How good did you reference. know Muggsy Bogues? Because he's really short black guy. That's an yep. oddity. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Like how I know tall white guys, but yeah. I said to one Not of the, I said to one Jews of the ho- hookers, I said, or strippers, I said, hey, uh, how much to give my friend a good time? And she goes twenty dollars. I went, no, I want to give him a really good time. You and gave she him ten dollars and said, give him a bad time. She goes twenty dollars, <laughs> and I go, no, no, really, really good time. She goes twenty dollars. I was like, I keep giving you the opportunity That's to go up. Unbelievable. And the next thing you know, she was uh, blowing my friend. But then this New York Jets guy kept slapping her in the face with his cock, and I had to go over and go. Buddy, can you please just give him a minute? Just let him. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's my friend who has that would kill my boner. Yeah. To, to be honest, a, a black and guy bruise a face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he was an offensive line. That's one so thing that Farsight doesn't have to worry about is slapping a bitch in the face with his yeah, yeah. cock. But the he's, book, he's, he could use the book. You could slap her in the face with a book. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm right with you, Farsight. Not not much more than you. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, you'd have a nice no. cock. No, really. No, no you, you're really. tall. Second show. I'm going to bring a different book. If that's okay, <laughs> but the uh, St. James, St. James yeah, I, version, I, I, I hear there being was, a Jew, we're going to go with the St. James I, I hear there was a everyone loves yeah. Raymond merchandising that yeah, involved that's the book. Exactly oh right. no, my I'm, cock's in a book. I'm going to play Ray's nose. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my cock. Yeah. Do you still chat to him a lot? 
Uh, we're going to play poker in about an hour and a half. Oh, really? Yeah, right. Are we coming? We po- we'd oh, love we're it. coming. We'd love Isn't, him. He's quite a good poker player because he plays in he's that decent. big, big he's tournament. He's quite decent, yeah. This he's guy, playing this uh, guy, next week. And, uh, this guy plays like pro, too. But, but, but we're, we're, we're head and head. We, we keep going back and forth, but, but, but he's good. He's, I, he's good. I, I fancy you play myself little, as Jimmy? a good player, but I'm not very good. I was all right online, but once they took it offline, yeah. I've lost my skills. Well, that was all. You know, there's It's all criminal, too, stuff. isn't it? Like you, well, yeah, all the stuff that's coming out. They figured out there were like six, seven guys in one room. Yeah, I I, I got I got my bank I got my account uh, drained and I wasn't even winning because I used to play with my brother but we were only my brother's he his wife wouldn't let him play like, I used to play sort of forty or fifty dollar tables he used we used to play like these five dollar tables but me and my brother would play with each other my brother the cop by the way and um, Scotty no no Danny the, Danny the cop Scotty's okay. not a cop. Um, Scotty's running for uh, government and he wants our two podcasts taken down. Yeah. <laughs> we have his brother on the podcast. Oh, I love it. And he, he, love he's it. running he, as a politician. He sexually harassed the women that were here. He may have called the leader Mudblood. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's running for office. And our podcast is going to ruin his career. Fabulous. Well, and, it's certainly anyway. fucking ruined mine. Anyway, good luck. Whatever, whatever, whatever's left of it. I couldn't believe My you said it. My last three minutes of 15. When I asked Brad to do the show and he said, oh, Okay, I went. No, he didn't really just say okay. <laughs> this isn't gonna happen. I'm bulletproof. Hey, you're you a, you're you our biggest celebrity yet. I think. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. That can't you, be. Ranking that's, wise, you might be. Wow, you've, you've you been, guys you're, are you're, big, you're bigger than Jay Moore. Well, I don't know Saget, about that. Bigger than Saget. You're bigger than yeah. Reese Darby. Yeah, will IMDb Ooh. rate you and find Re- out? Reese, Darby? Reese Darby's Murray from Fly of the Concords. Yeah, I'm bigger than that. Yeah. Bigger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How is Moore? How's he doing? He's good. He's good. We're part of Fake Mustache uh, Network now. Nice. Uh, nice. And, and J- doing well. J- J- and the uh, ratings are great. Uh, you're, you're up there, right? We, uh, we, we can go as high as six and as low as 80. We had our biggest week last we, week. Uh, we really fluctuate. How high did we, we get? We had our biggest uh, week. Yeah. We didn't go that high. We were top 10, but we... Uh, yeah, this isn't going to help. We had our I'm highest numbers ever. This and who was the guest? Our guest was Jim Norton. Jim Norton, Our that would have put it up. Yeah, yeah yep. Jim Norton. Was yep. it a good one? I don't even know if it was a good one. It was all right. Yeah, it was a funny one. It's Very funny. Lovely. Jim's a funny guy. Jim is a funny guy. Yeah. Can we talk about your green room? You could talk about anything. Man. His green room is amazing. You love. When are you going to play I, the I club? I just Jim? don't know Before how you fascinating. Get too fucking big, man. When are you going to play the club? I, I <laughs> you do me a solid. I think I'm booked in a theater in Vegas. I don't in, think so. In February. No, I don't think so. There's no theater. Okay, somewhere. I'll do it. I'll do it. We should have done the podcast at his club. Oh, oh man, you would have loved it. This, this is in the, the green room. room. This is yeah. the green room. room sounds you so nice. You would have a lot of booze. A lot of booze, Jimmy. Can we just stop and hear about this green Is there a couch? There's leather couch. Oh, leather couch. There's a chair. There's a fridge there's a, a, a unbelievable memorabilia there's a peephole at the window there's so a if you're getting a blowjob you get to look through the peephole to see who's not while you're getting the I, blowjob. I once got a blowjob in a dressing room at edinburgh, John, really? at edinburgh john was in scotland yeah. and i got a blowjob and the staff member and i would might have been coked up or something like that because right. i because I, I, I was fairly yeah. confident what were the odds because yeah. i was getting sucked <laughs> off with this guy and the security guy came in and right. just went, hey, you're not allowed to do that back here. And I told him to fuck off while he was sucking my dick. And the girl ran out. While he was sucking my dick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back that up. <laughs> while she was sucking Chewy, my dick. Chewy, play that back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she was yeah, sucking- put down the gazelle and do your job. <laughs> right, she was sucking my dick, and then she sort of ran out, and I did my pants up and went and complained to the management. <laughs> I actually, That's actually brilliant. went up to the management. I need to see someone right now. I got. I How got- long have I been playing this That's fucking great. club? That's great. This guy's new. There was a, there was well a, that won't happen at our club because the manager's black. So you know <laughs> you know who did I leave me some that mother mother right there. Leave, 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 leave me He'll just come up and slap his cock into a face. Yeah, that that he will. Like a New York jet. Uh, when I started working the Jonglers <laughs> comedy chain in in uh, England, I kept finding out that like after the shows. Girls come to the green room and you can fuck around. And I was like, oh, this is the greatest. Really? Oh, yeah. Because the comedy clubs turn into nightclubs afterwards. Okay. They move all the chairs and they have like a disco and you dance and you drink. And then you. So I'd go back to the green rooms and I'd hook up every single night. And then all the managers and everybody, all the comedians kept going to me. You need to meet this Jim Jeffries. You need to. You two. You know, you're the only two. And this is before you knew each other. I didn't even yeah. know them. Yeah. But they, then I found out there was a list. Jonglers, the comedy club, the the, the I, administrative I, I, office. I've got. A, I've, I told you about the list. They have a list. Yes. And uh, no, I knew about the list. And they have comedians on there that when they open a club or when they have management meetings. They go to the staff and they tell the waitresses, "These are comedians you have to stay after, stay away from." 
Well, that what happened was I had the, a new girl, Guess who was on it. a new girl at Oxford John Lewis, and I went there, and then I said, oh, I didn't have a place to stay because it was Oxford. They thought you drove back to London, and then she goes, Oh, you can stay with the friends, and then I got up in a room and. We're making out a bit, and she goes, I can't fuck you. And I said, why? And she goes, I work at the club, and we can't fuck comedians. I go, ah, no one's going to know. And she goes, you're on the list. And then I was so excited to see the list. And uh, Eddie was there, Phil Butler. (coughs) Phil Butler was on the list. I'm trying to think of other people. Love it. Not me. I want Do you have a list been, at your club? Yes, I do. These these are people that desperately need to be fucked. Yeah. That is that is my list. Yeah. yeah. All the alternative guys. Yeah. All the nerdy. It's, it's the no fly list, we yeah. call it. Anyone with a and, beard who does comedy. Yeah, that, that that's right. <laughs> desperately needs to be fucked. Um yeah. See, you could fuck anyone in our club, Jim. I'm Even the big you. black guy? Even the big black I don't know. He's kind of born again. I don't know. Well, he will be. You'll have yeah. to yell Jesus while he, you're doing it. It's, well, who doesn't, really? <laughs> yeah, you, you, would, you would like it, Jim. I don't understand why black people get so into God when, when he's always depicted as a white guy. You never see black Jesus, do you? Oh, you, you have to travel. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yes. Africa. Chew, the, Chewy's company. I, I think he's having a fucking seat. Is he okay? Are you, are you okay? Are, are you, you okay? Right? He that? sweats a lot. He, he sweats a no, lot. No, no, no. That's, the, that's the lightest breathing I've ever seen him yeah, do. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's okay, right? Normally he has oxygen at this gig. Okay. All right. He's a good guy, right? Jim, what's the biggest name you've ever opened for? Oh. I can't say because I, don't think he's I open accuse friend. him of rape in a routine I've got. Okay. No, that's <laughs> <not>. <laughs> Brad has the same story. That's true. Watch, watch, that's this. Like watch this. Brad has the same story. Didn't you open for Sinatra? Yes, and he raped me. <laughs> he raped my shit. I, I, I don't he's think probably it. Louis C.K. is probably like now by these standards like a big act that I've opened for. It's kind then, of big. And yeah. then, yeah. but I'm, you know, like in... I, like we did a show just recently, and Eddie Izzard was on. Oh we, yeah, that's you true. know, like nice. so, you yeah. know, I've worked with big comics, but yeah, never Sinatra. Sinatra. No, you don't have to listen. It's listen. You know, it's. I, you can still open for Liza Minnelli. She's still yeah, got you, the gig. Yeah, because she won't know. Yeah, she, won't. she would have so, no idea. Oh, she's so out of it. I'd, I'm really out of it. Would Sinatra, when you'd open for him, would he take you out afterwards? He he would take like everyone out afterwards, but he called me Greg for three fucking years, <laughs> Greg Barrett. Mm. And the thing is, is you know. He, he, you know, there was like a, a group of guys that would Panette rotate. did it as well, didn't he? Panette did it. Larry Miller did it. Uh, uh, Dreesen was like his main guy. But, you know, it was you know near the end of his career, and he was, you know, I mean, it was an honor, you know, but it was he was out there. So he would introduce you as like, Greg Barrett, everybody, Greg Barrett. And I'm, he would have you, he would have everyone take a bow, whoever would open for him. <laughs> so I'm taking a bow, you know. Good work, Greg. To another name. Mm. You, you know what I mean? And, and, um, and and I you know I went up to one of his people. I went, Hank. Uh, I said, you know, uh, uh, he doesn't know my name. And <laughs> Hank went, Why don't you go fucking correct him? <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, I said, I said, well, you know, can you tell me it's Brad? And no, I, know, I can't. I can't do that. He, Frank will do it the way he wants to do it. I mean, my mom would. You know, she came to the show once, and she was like, I don't understand why you can't go Frank. I'm Brad. <laughs> and just sit down. I said, I'll have a sit down with Frank. I'll ask for a, uh, to have a sit down with Frank. But he was, uh, you know, it was, it was, he didn't Did he just have a crew of people that he could talk to around him? Like, did had, he have a posse? A I mean, he, oh yeah, b- big, thick posse. Mm. And, uh, but he loved comics and he was great. Did he get him. a lot of hookers? Uh, you the, know, the room is that he used to call them up like I do pizzas. <laughs> well, I'm sure back in the day. You know, but you know, again, I was with him. You know, in the in, in, in the latter in part, the twilight. In, his, in the twilight, and his his wife Barbara was around, and it was. Uh, but and, and you know, I wasn't in the inner sanctum. You know, I was just mm. one of the malukes that was. Hey, but it was great because I was I was seeing this chick that I really wanted to impress. You know, I'm like far side. I need a, a lot of fucking help to get laid. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I was seeing this chick at the time, and and. Um, Frank said, you know, he, he said, uh, you know, after the show, you'll come by the dressing room, we'll have a little bicycle vool, and you, you bring your lady, whatever, have a little thing. It was like, oh, so, you know, two hours later after the show, I come by and knock on, he answers the door, what? And with the chick, I go, hey, Mrs. Sinatra, you know, yeah. what, are you, what are you doing knocking on my door? And I said, well, I don't want you knocking on my door. <laughs> you know, he closed the door, he forgot, and, and forgot who I was. Sure. It, so I went to Hank. I said, "Look, can you remind him?" No, no, I can't. I can't remind anybody. This Hank sounds like a right cunt. Do you think? Yeah, Hank had to do his thing. Yeah. Do you yeah. think? Did Frank ever watch your set? Um, why? Look, would that have helped? 
No, I mean, but let's my be point, honest. My point, did he find you funny? Did he ever say good set kid he, yeah, or anything? I mean, I mean, he would watch in the wings once in a while, and yeah, but yeah, I mean, he was always yeah. Because you yeah. have you, you don't have a clean act at all. You no back yeah. then it was a lot cleaner. Oh, it was it was a lot safer. Oh, okay, because I was like, I went through this metamorphosis. I I, I, I just you know you from, made money. I, I, right, exactly. That's weird. And I'm I, deciding to become clean any day now. Yeah, that's going to happen. I, I have that feeling. That's Fourth gonna, album. You could become born again. Something could happen to you. It could, it could. Something could happen to you. I you could know, have where, a kid with a prostitute or you, something. You, you, yes. yes. What was that your, would turn you. What was your metamorphosis? You just went one day, I have got enough money, I can uh, say I, what I, I feel. Yeah, pretty much. Pr- pretty much that was it. it. It's You know what? It's so hacky either way. Let me curse. <laughs> that's, that's really what happened. I said, if I'm going to hack it up, I might as well do it with honesty. I wish I, I, I wish I. How stopped. was he shows towards the end? Or was, or was it just a lot of these little town blues? Bada bim, bada well, boom. You, you know, there, there was one night where he actually went, the summer wind, there's a triumph. Bop, ba da, ba ba You know, and you would see the orchestra, the pages would be fucking flying. And that tramp did it my way. Yeah, that's exactly what was. That's exactly, yeah. <laughs> New York. Bally's, you know, it was like <laughs> New uh, York, my type of town. <laughs> New York, yeah. <laughs> so there was, and then there were nights that were just that were just, I mean, brilliant. What hotel I mean, was this? We we did uh, we did a lot at Bally's, and uh, we did a lot at the Desert Inn, you know, and then back east at uh, the Sands. You know, and stuff. But this is, uh, was this before Vegas had its last big boom? This or? was old Vegas, right? This, well, it was. It was you know early nineties, really, right. really when it was. And uh, you know, it's like last hurrah. But it was great because you know through him I got you know Liza work and opening for for Sammy Davis was great because you know I loved all that music. I like Sammy I Davis. I thought he was more talented than the rest of them. Yeah, well, he he was he really was the shit. You know, yeah, yeah. he was the guy that they would go see. Really, when they were off, he, yeah, he did the yeah. best in person. His voice dwindled more towards the end, of, probably from smoking or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but he was the funniest one by a mile out of that sort of group of three guys. Really. Well, he's black, you can so have he's the rest talented, of yeah. and Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. He, was, right. he, yeah, was, he was a black Jew. That's uh, black. You know, Jew. Like, Do you know how many nights them. he could get up at the at the improv, like every <laughs> okay. night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a show. It's hysterical, <laughs> but but he had a great sense of humor, uh, and w- one of his greatest lines ever. Which, died broke. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, did, did he? Sinatra paid for his funeral. Yeah, yeah he, he died. True, he's uh, he's sad. his ex wife was living in the basement of so his that sisters. Was, like so he, that was the black half. Of it was him mostly that did that. mostly yes. gambled it away, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. Well, it was he bad was investment. Big, he gave a lot away too. He yeah. was a big, you know. I mean, I was I was once uh, at a gig with him and a and a bellman you know complimented his watch and he took it off and gave this guy his cartier fuck watch yeah. and and it was um i'm just looking over you seeing if you got anything nice that i want yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, nice no, penis no, there no, no, greg no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he, yeah, he, yeah exactly <laughs> it's a schmeckle <laughs> no man. One of the greatest Sammy lines. We were, I was at a vending machine backstage, and he loved soda. His brother loved his strawberry crush. Yeah, brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothers yeah. love that shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we were at a and I didn't know he was behind me, and he was just going to get a soda. He was at Harris, and I was and I turn around, and I had a twenty dollar bill. He was the only guy backstage. I go, and it was such a lame thing to ask, but I didn't, you know. And I wanted him to go before me. He goes, "No, go ahead, get your soda." And I said, uh, "Mr. Davis, can you change a twenty? And he looked at me and he goes, babe, a 20 is change. My favorite, my, my, my favorite line of all time. I, I got to use that. I love it. Okay. It was the day. Man. Can you change 100? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> can you change your pigmentation so you can work everywhere in the 60s? <laughs> yeah. No shit. Well, that was the thing. There was clubs. That well, these are the fifties, really. I'm just saying, sixties. The there was clubs that Sinatra wouldn't play because they wouldn't let That's Sammy right. Davis in. That happened on the strip when when Sammy was headlining the Frontier. He couldn't stay there. Oh. This was the sixties. Oh. Yeah, Nat, King, they, Nat they, King Cole went through the Nat same King thing. Cole, he had to and go they had a trailer park for the black headliners off the strip. That's how fucked up it was. Sinatra changed changed all of that. Yeah, they did all that, and he said, "If you don't let him stay at this hotel, I won't play this hotel." And they literally 
that night it changed. But Sammy, the first co- when he was with but the what Walmart, what type of cunt right? would let you perform there and not do it? It just seems White so punts. far out White of punts. yeah, yeah. No, but it the seems devil. so far out of the realm of possibilities now that you were, you know, yeah. like it's not like he was Jewish. Oh, he was. Oh, that's it. Oh, that, <laughs> God, <damn> it. <laughs> Fucking kike! I should have known he would try to stay there and use the towels. Yeah. But more importantly, what was the big strip bar back then? Sinatra's uh, dressing room. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, well, cheetahs, they, cheetahs, cheetahs, back then. it was cheetahs. Uh, you know the 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 rhino always had, it. but cheetahs. Rhino was, was around that long ago. Yep. Wow. Yep. Do you know what spearmint rhino means? No. I I, uh, I know this because I used to have a girlfriend that works there. Mm-hmm. Um, spearmint rhino is is uh, spearmint's hot and rhino's horny, so it's hot and horny. That's why they have the name spearmint rhino. Ah. I never knew that. Why wouldn't they call it chili? Rhino. I don't know. I think Spearmint Rhino was their it's secret. More, but more, uh, yeah. To me, it's or, fucking or rip chili, off. the deal, bro. Or chili trumpet. Yeah, that would work as well. Hot yeah, I don't think it would sound as good as hot that. cocks. But come to chili trumpet. But, but Spearmint yeah, Rhino, Spirit Rhino, Rhino doesn't sound it's a good. Stupid either. batch is good. Steaming batch. And I've lost nice. a lot of money. I've lost more money oh, there than God. I have. Given. You have not lost. No, money. it's lost. It's you lost. You have spent that money. No, with, not not well. That's you have a gotten scam. good value for your money in there. That's a scam. You Eddie. bought memories, my Eddie. friend. Eddie. We just <laughs> we just did a show in Vegas, and Jim had to go to bed because uh, the girlfriend made him. So I took all. Oh, the- is that no? Yep. I can't. Not yep. Jim Jeffries. Yep. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Yep. Because yeah. I, I replayed the HBO special. Right? Yeah. You're telling me. Yeah. That that the power of the fucking pink got yeah. to Jim Jeffries. It's, it. It did. It did. <laughs> It did, yeah. I, I, I. Honest to God, all that shit you talk about. You were my fucking hero last night, and now it's a bitch tells Come you when to go to bed in Vegas. I still cheat on her. Uh, uh, <laughs> you were tired I'm, from cheating. I'm, you had to go to bed. I'm, in case you figured out how to po- download podcasts, honey, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but so I took the mongs out to the uh, and, to the and, strip and show club. Me which one are the mongs? They're all mongs, oh, they're all the, of them. All, all these guys. They're the mongs. I love it. All of them. JJ yeah, yeah. was there. Jason went to strip club. He showed up. I was already in there. We, I took him to the worst Olympic Gardens. Oh my god! The worst fucking place where oh where the girl god. sits down on you and her yeast infection. The girls falls in Spirit Rhino yeah. are lovely. In Vegas. Oh, of course. But I took them to the yeah. worst place you I could find. The, did you take Chewy? Uh, were you in? Yeah, he was I there. Forget, I was he was up. on five different drugs that night. Sure. Um, but this one shows up at the door and goes, I need you to get us all in. Uh, and then... Well, I was already in, though. You're fired. Me, Shut up. And then he got free lap dances. He's homeless enough that he figured out I a way... He it. didn't get free lap dances. He had a girl sit on his lap and try to milk some money out of him. He was they getting, all do getting that. blood from And then stone. he grinded on her. I, I, <laughs> he no, lap at, dance. Fir- at, at first she sat on him to try to get money but after a while she was just comfortable <laughs> <laughs> she she took her smoke break on him yeah oh that's hysterical i love it mm. i haven't been to the garden so it's awful it's the worst have you done treasures no is that bad treasures you 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 have to go to but you know what happened to me i got oh, a- was it good treasures it's- it's great there. Yes. Uh, I've, I've been there, yeah. I got hijacked. Is that the, the English patient? We don't even know who it is. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I, we, I still don't know. It's, 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 it's the Jews, but it's my buddy it, Bobby. He's, it's it's you, not a Jew. You look, no, you, you look no, like the same no. person, but just with yeah, different hair. I was yeah, just going to yeah, say, they've got to be related. No? Yeah, you guys do look similar. Oh, no? No, that's my buddy from college. Yeah, yeah, like Chewy and Farsight. Are, are you Jewish as well? Wait, you two went to Berkeley together. Yeah. Okay. You don't seem like okay. Berkeley guys. Berkeley always sounds like it had hot chicks. No. 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 Terrible. terrible. Berkeley's like the smart liberals. <laughs> Isn't that what you had to like I'm telling you, the hottest chicks in America are the girls who go to the University of Phoenix. Uh, and I have a theory of that. Why, I have a why theory is that? Of why is it? Because it's... It's a good university, but it's not a great university. It's the university, type. It's you mean, the type. You don't mean Phoenix, like you mean Phoenix, Arizona not, State, not the online college. No, no, not that one. Not that one. Oh. I mean Arizona State. Oh, oh, ASU. oh ASU. Okay. ASU. It's totally okay. different. Arizona yeah. State. We were no, all no, thinking no, no, no. way like, different. No, no, I don't mean those adverts late at night. <laughs> where, where you, I was like, I, yeah. I, I don't, I don't mean Power Tech. We all wanted yeah. to hear that there. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like, I got it. Every girl in you porn. Also yeah, exactly. Clicks, they, I got to get out of this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna take college. No, classes. no, the best looking birds are in the uh, University of Arizona, and the reason for that is it's a good university. It's not a great <laughs> university. And it's the type of place where a guy, if he had a lot of money, fucks some model and then had a reasonably looking kid who's a bit of a deadhead like the mother, goes, there, I'll send you to this one. 
That's oh, a that's very good theory. There's a school in uh, Florida called... Uh, uh, and it's hot and they don't wear any clothes. There's a school called Rollins College in Winter Park, Florida that is every year wins like Hottest Girls in America. And I got booked there once and I show up there and it was in their like gymnasium. So the whole school's there and every girl was wearing that thing. I don't know what it is. It's like a handkerchief on their tits and then a string that like ties it around the back. It's just like they're wearing... It's called a bikini. No, yeah. it was fucking... I Connected don't know what it was. to a tampon, I think is what you're describing. But the, 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 it's like seven girls to every guy Where and the ratio. This? It's Winter Park, Florida. It's called Rollins College. And my opening line was, if I was a guy that went to school here, I would never jerk off ever. And because you can... Fu- Why? Seven That's the only thing that stops me from raping. Seven. <laughs> you stopped? <laughs> yeah. I oh. had to. <laughs> I had to. It was affecting my career. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst other things. It's, like, it's seven girls. Physically, that, I couldn't do it anymore. When no. I was younger, you can really pin them. Yeah. But I when can't. you get well, a bit older. How, how, how do you know about how do you know about Rollins? My old roommate, who I think you've met, Sarah Lane, went to Rollins. It's fucking unbelievable. So, Brad, who's yes, the most sir. famous person you fucked? <laughs> that would be Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You know what? I don't. Oh, uh, I've got pocket rockets. You can't <laughs> beat me. <laughs> pocket rockets. You, you know what? I, I I've you were rarely married forever. Dated. No, I was only married seven years, but I got married like at thirty nine. Oh, hey. you did? And then yeah, I got married. But hey, I, and you're, I a, never, you're divorced I, now. I, I'm <coughs> divorced now. I'm living with my girlfriend. She's got a hot girlfriend. She's a sweetheart. Hot. Yeah. And I was yeah. on best behavior at the club. I just, I, uh, I wouldn't even a, look at her. She's a great broad. Because you got the boss there. She's a great like, broad. Yeah. And, you know, and that she laughs at you guys. I, I know I'm with the right broad. Oh, You know, because yeah. she's just a regular broad from, you know, New England with no fucking I felt like and, I was scaring her, though. Brad would come back nah, and go, is he that. telling shit stories again? Is he, like, every night? Yeah, I, all, and she'd all be, no, but he pinned me were, down. We're all about shit. You know, we're all about Yeah, the, I know, the, I know. And, he and has a lot, of, a lot of fecal matter in his story. But I, I rarely hung out with broads in the business. I found them really, I just couldn't Come on, that him. bird off everyone loves Raymond, you must have fingered her once. Just like Doris? No, the one Robert? That, no, 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 no. Fingered her. No, that, that little... She reminds me of my mom. No, Don't do no, that. No, the oldest daughter. <laughs> the, the oldest daughter. <laughs> that, that bird. Yeah. Yeah, the no, twins, I, Jeffrey and whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you knew one of the names of the twins. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, yeah. fucking Jim amazing. Jeffries. <laughs> oh, I, oh, that's why, of course. It's an egocentric thing. <laughs> no, I never... Uh, no. no, no one famous. Why, have you fucked famous people? Um... I can't imagine Yeah, nothing that. too major. I yeah, no, not okay. really. I I have an a couple, I like a couple of like mildly famous models and a, like a and like a couple of page three girls in Britain. I I, I haven't had okay. anyone famous. And one of our friends who we know, uh, who I can't mention, has been opening for somebody really famous. And I go, what kind of girls is he getting? And he goes, he's only fucking famous girls now. And I go, like who? He goes, like UFC girls. That's not what? famous. Yeah, fuck what? Yeah, I that's not play- famous. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. fuck Playboy I mean, like, models and fam- stuff like that. They're not famous. They're just hot. That's not famous. Yeah. Means like a famous actor. My girlfriend's ex boyfriend is fucking Nathan Fillion. Who the fuck's that? Castle. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, the, gu- the guy of famous. The guy of Firefly. Okay. I fuck Kurt Vonnegut's daughter. All right, that's yeah. That, wait, that's, wait, that's, wait, wait, wait. I've got an update on that. Uh oh. A friend of mine called Wendy, who's a comic, who was living with Kurt Vonnegut's daughter, who uh, Kurt Vonnegut had, had gotten back that you had called her ugly and had bad skin and all that type of stuff. That information had gotten back by the podcast, by the way. Wow. But it doesn't matter because she started to impersonate this girl she was living with, did her hair like single white female, and used to like lay inside this girl's bed and take photographs of herself, like, I miss you, like laying in her bed. So, uh, yeah. Go for your life. She seems like a right fucking nut job. Really? Did you do that, Eddie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. She, uh, I, love it. I love it when you make one crazy. I met I her and it. she said, my dad was Kurt Vonnegut. And I said, I loved, I loved him in Back to School. Perfect. And she goes, you're a moron. And I went, well, I'm going to fuck you. And uh, right. she went, I know. And I said, so who's the moron now? <laughs> no, and, you're still the moron. <laughs> now. Um, it's just two morons getting yeah. together. No, she. You know what I mean? Like, like she, you go. So who's the moron now? I fucked the girl who was a moron. And I had strawberry kisses. Yeah, you had strawberry kisses. I yeah, I I worked very hard on Abby Titmus in Britain. Didn't who's Abby out. Titmus? Abby Titmus is a famous sex tape. Um, she was dating a guy. <laughs> towards, 
<laughs> he was dating a guy called John Leslie, who was the equivalent of whoever, like Good Morning America, right? Okay. Right, this guy who was like this staunch leg, and here we have some ladies baking cookies, but he was like the top guy in Britain. Or John okay. Leslie was his name. Anyway, so John Leslie had a sex tape where they had a black hooker where they were filming just this black hooker just tonguing her asshole constantly. You can look it up, Abby Titmus, right? And then uh, I had a pilot in the UK and we cast her in a small role just because I wanted to meet her. And, uh, Do you date everyone you cast? Try to. <laughs> Jason. And, and uh, so anyway, so, so this is where my career was just sort of coming up in Britain. I wasn't famous. No one really recognized me in the street. I got recognized like once a week or something like that. And so I went, she invited me out for dinner, no, for drinks on like the 23rd of December in the center of London, right? Now, this is the day that all the cunts finished work for the last day. They've been drinking since midday. They were, and so she was known as this sex tape chick. Like she's like a Kim Kardashian type. Was thing, she a right? porn chick? No, no, no. no she no. was a nurse. She was a nurse. At this oh, time. But she had sex with a famous, famous person. She was, she was with the John Leslie, the famous guy. And the black chick and, was eating her yeah, ass. And, and he was filming a black chick eating her ass. I got you out, right. Was right? the black chick famous? The black chick was... Esther just, Roll. I think the black chick was just a hooker. <laughs> <right>? Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, so... so we're in this packed bar and the guys were just like zombies because she's just known as this sex kit and they're just like... So it'd be oh. like if Paris Hilton came into a club. Yeah, yeah. And Who's, so they... Oh, they I were, can't believe anyone would fuck that. They, I have a friend who did. Oh. Yeah. So these, these girls were just like... These guys were like... Uh, and she's... A, but not she, like that, she, She's off alcohol. No, like seriously, just drunken British guys just, right. uh, the just worst. trying to touch oh. her like this, right? Oh. And so this guy comes up and goes... I got you a drink, right? And she's like, oh, I don't drink anymore. I've given up drinking. Thank you very much. Anyway, he goes, but I got it for you, Abby. I got you this drink. I got it for you. Right? And she goes, I'm with my boyfriend right now. And I sort of like, oh, this is the first time I've been out with it by myself. And I was like, yeah, yeah. So, mate, if you could just piss off, that'd be great, right? And then they just keep on surrounding. And I said, look, should we go to a restaurant or something where we can sit at a table where people aren't going to be grabbing it? And she goes, yeah, I want to get out of here. So I walk out. I, I, I go through the crowd. I think she's behind me. I get like 20 feet away. I turn around and it's literally like the walking dead. She stood up and they're all trying to put her jacket on like, Oh, oh my God. and she's like squirming like ah, ah, ah. so oh. i go in like fucking kevin costner from the bodyguard right i start kicking cunts out of the way i lift her up by the ass with the jacket i carry her out of there right and she's like thanks for that jim we go out we walk out into the street we're walking down a cobbled street in london somewhere and this one guy just continues following just uh, down That's the street so creepy. and she turns around and she goes can you fuck off She's like, she's really nervous now. Can you fuck off? And she goes, he goes, I just want a hug, Abby. I just want a hug. And I went, look, mate, I'm a fucking boyfriend. Can you fuck off? And he went, Abby, come on. You're not fucking Jim Jeffries. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the third time I'd ever been recognized. So there was still like the, oh, he knows who I am. And the, what? That's fucking great. That's fucking, you got to do it. I'm yeah. sure you do that. I've never yeah. done that on stage. No, but the funny part. To. The funny, I haven't told that story in about five years. The funny part is to. Jim's ego, he left her and hung out with the dude and drank with him. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Well, what comic wouldn't? I mean, fuck. Yeah, I forgot about that. That is a funny story. She'd be like, come on. Oh, let's fuck. He's like, but this guy knows who I am. <laughs> yeah, that, that is hysterical. Did, so, but you didn't fuck her? No. You no, tried, but, though. But she's going to be at the Edinburgh Festival, and I'll be there in August. Buy tickets. And nice. Abby's doing a play or something. Oh, boy. Nice. So she's really doing well now. What's her name? Abby she made, she made millions. Mouse? From the sex tape. She, made, she, she became like a topless model. She's really like, the thing about her is, She's extraordinarily posh. She has like she speaks like the fucking queen, right? Um, and most girls who show their tits exciting. don't. So she's like, that's oh yeah, exciting. the boys are all really, you know. So she speaks really posh. And the thing is, um, it'd be like watching one of the Bush just, daughters. Just, we, got, is, we got Google up like fucking the queen. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, Abby A B I Titmus T I T M U S. Um, Titmus. I think you've showed me her word. before. I think I've looked. Oh, her up. she's uh, yeah. she's very English looking, and but the thing was, she just captured the imagination of British men everywhere. She did a whole lot of. She made she made about two million, and then got out and went into. It's acting. like the Lou check. She was, she was, is it like Rebecca Lou? Yeah, but just because she's trying to. No, sure. Rebecca Lou didn't make anywhere near as much money as Abby. Rebecca Lou was the girl that David Beckham was having an, an affair, affair with. with. She was his assistant, and he was having an affair behind his wife's back. Uh, you know, posh spice. Yeah. And this girl, like, they published all their text messages. 
that were going okay. back and forth, and yeah. you could jerk off to their text messages. Like, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Well, do I mean, you know? Do you know that she was on a show called uh, The Farm or something, which was a reality TV show, and she was on the same season as Ron Jeremy. And uh, I, I, this is what happened. They had all these celebrities come on and they had to work on a farm and they just followed With them. Ron Jeremy. Well, Ron Jeremy. Left Ron, Jer- Ron Jeremy was just one of them, right? Right. So in one scene, Rebecca Lewis, now she's, she was in, the plow. Now she's in reality TV. Yeah. She has to get sperm out of a fucking uh, a pig for reproducing, right? Right. Now, the thing is, it got banned. Just wait a second. It got what banned. was this on? It, it was on this show called The Farm, right? In Britain. In Britain. In Br- okay. Now, it got banned off TV because they said it takes about four or five minutes. She did it in 30 seconds. <laughs> and that's when, that's when they deemed it to be too offensive that she did too good a job. <laughs> Otherwise, it just would have been a farming show. Oh, I have a theory God. before you get to that. I have a theory that that's, Ron... That's Abby and they're real. I have a theory that Ron Jeremy is the most famous person in the world. Because... Those are real. They're real, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, she, she was in a pilot with me. To, she's lovely uh, Brad you've met she's actually <laughs> and it, I will say this about exactly. Abby if she's listening I'm not saying off, she's one of the nicest girls okay yeah. wait wait let's really go back to my Ron girl. Jeremy theory Brad nice, you, she would have fucked you Brad have you, have you ever met Ron not Jer- that nice yeah. have you, I've never met a girl that nice lovely put that on my left thing have you ever met Ron Jeremy <laughs> I, I haven't you have no. never met him why would I want I've him I've met him like three or four times I've met him like a million why would you want him I don't want to everywhere well he's ever but I don't go out every time I go anywhere Ron sees me and acts like he wants a copy of my DVD because I normally have a few in the boot when you're at gigs right a few in the trunk and and I've given him four and on the last time I said you've already got four funny and it turns out he gives them away as gifts of course he does every time I meet him he's like I don't know who you are Right. I, and I've like I've met you fifty times. He's like I still don't know it's who like you Sinatra. are. Like Sinatra. Yeah, right. same thing. Of course. But I've uh, have, you, have Sinatra you met Ron Jeremy? I, I I've met him, but I mean. But uh, you've been places where he is, oh, yeah. right? I have his business card in my wallet. Unbelievable. When I you, just I have a I feel like it's the cheapest he's, looking. He's like an icon. He's like right. He's like the Eiffel Tower or the Statue of Liberty to you. Like every <laughs> to, <laughs> to, all right. to fucking read, you. Read. He's got a brand of rolling papers. Read this. Actually, I know sure. because you got you stole them me. out of my no, car. You gave them to me. He gave them to me in conjunction with my you DVD. You're fine. <laughs> anyway, you so won't remember. So that's his card. It doesn't You're mention fired. porn. You're it just mentions that he's with SAG and AFTRA. Oh, it's unbelievable. Ron Jeremy Hyatt. <laughs> oh, yeah, his full name, name. Oh, Is that his full name? This is his full business card. Unbelievable. Oh, wait, wait, we God, have his address. Too. Have his address. We jizzed need up. to see where he lives. A- no, oh, that's good. probably his management company or his oh, office. A, yeah. I or, doubt that's it. where his cock resides. <laughs> He and then he lives two blocks down the street. If you <laughs> if you IMDb him, he's been in more films than anyone else in the world. Well, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, but they're it's, not real you put films. Shower Rangers on your fucking but resume. We, but we, <laughs> <laughs> we have Harry his, Pooter we, and the we, Sorcerer's <laughs> Bone. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that that one. We have his <laughs> cell number. <clears throat> well, we must call it. We yeah. must call it. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, let's call see. him right now. Let's see. Can we put it into the... We'll just put it on speaker. We'll get it. Oh, I'm getting text messages here. It's probably from Ron. <laughs> he needs a DVD. I was at a party once. Uh, Skylar Stone had a party, and Ron Jeremy was there, and he passed out in the middle of the party. Not drinking. What are we going to ask him? Just we should ask well, him well, to be... 70, we should he? just ring him up and ask him to be a guest, yeah. right? Yeah, which is going to be annoying as fuck. No, then he can't come. Okay. Wait, you put it down at the bottom. It's down here. No, that's where he speaks. No, no, the speaker's right there. Hi, Ron. Hi. G'day, mate. It's Jim Jeffries. I don't know if you remember me. Uh, we've met a few times. Uh, I, I do a podcast. I was wondering whether you'd be interested in being a guest. Maybe, but um, I'm doing a big thing now in San Diego. Can you give me a couple hours so we can talk about it? Sure. Well, we we kind of need to know uh, now, Ron. Yeah, right, thank Bra- you. Brad Garrett wants to know. <laughs> Put him on the phone. All right. Hey, Ron, Brad, how are you? <laughs> Good, man. What do you, what do you, what, 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 what do you, what are you doing in San Diego? Uh, me and this other lady here. Say hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> wow. All right, I'll write it. It, it, it sounds like you've met your level. What's the name of the lady? What's the lady's name? It's rum. It's rum. I'm promoting down in certain liquor stores, you know? You're promoting liquor stores? No, no, no. My name is Ron D. Jeremy Rum. It's just a rainbow. It's at the uh, it's a lot of places in LA. I love it. I love. What's the food like? What's the what? 
What's the food like? The food? We're not having any food. Okay. <laughs> it's funny because we got, um, they, they, they asked me to do this, this, this company out of Finland. Because Ron is rum in Spanish. Uh, I see. So the Mexicans will love it. <laughs> well, you know they have no money. Well, the joke that we say is that Ron Reagan wasn't available. Ronald McDonald is too busy with hamburgers. Right, right. So you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to take stuff that Ronald McDonald turns down, Ron? That's my question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, may have, he may have hung up. No, I think he's still on there. He, he's, still, he's still there, Ron. He should. Hang on, he's still here. He's still here. Okay, go, you, go ahead. You're still there, Ron? Finish, finish it, Jim. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, you, you remember me, <coughs> Jim Jeffries, right? I, yeah, I do. I just forgot where we met each other. We met each other on a... On From a, Abby Titmus. Do you we, remember we, Abby Titmus? We met each other in the green room, and also I was on the set of a video clip with a whole lot of porn stars, and you gave me a card, and you've taken four DVDs off me. The Green, the Green Room, Room with Paul Provenza. You were on the TV show. Of course, of course. I was on there a couple of times. I was the Australian guy. Ah, okay, yes. We chatted for hours. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, okay. I remember that. We, we, that was a fun show. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought so. Um, we did that when I, we did that when I said Jim, <laughs> Jim, Jim I, I think you're lying to everybody. I don't think you met Ron. I didn't ask if he knows me. He doesn't know. You don't, you don't know who Eddie Ift is, do you? What? Do you know who Eddie Ift is? Uh, I'm sorry. You're the same as everyone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, now, would you like to be a guest on the podcast, Ron? Sure. When, when is can, it, when can you be here in an hour? All right. No, no. We'll, we'll have any Monday you want. What Monday would be good for you? Uh, can you call me tomorrow or we'll lock it in? I'll call you in. We'll lock it in. Nice talking to you, Ron. Be well, Ronnie. See you, Ron. Yeah. Thank you for what you've done for the Jews. <laughs> so there we go. We just booked Ron Jeremy. Oh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that is bad. Brad, don't you feel privileged now? Unbelievable. Yeah, that's, that's yeah I have been knocked out of the most famous box. <laughs> <laughs> it is unbelievable. Uh, do you reckon Ron, because every time I see Ron now, the women he's with are getting worse, worse and worse. Well, of like, course, like, these but are the, he's had his share. I, mean, I, was come sitting, on. I was sitting in the comedy store one night watching Dice Clay. And Ron came in to watch him, and he ordered a drink, and he was really angry that he had to order a drink because it cost like $3 or something. Right. The hedgehog. And he went out to talk to Dice Clay, and he came back, and he goes, did you touch my drink? They moved his drink. He's like, did you touch my drink? And I'm like, nobody ever, ever would drink out of your drink, <laughs> ever, in the history of the world. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's been another man on this planet that's had more STD checks than him. Oh, could you imagine? It's amazing that he doesn't have a disease. He's never even had a ward, he reckons. I saw a documentary on him, and he reckons he's never even had a ward, and I get them. Oh, that's bullshit. That no, I really get him. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sell me on that, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> How long are we up to, Machete? We're good, right? Jason, if, if, right. Uh, if Ron Jeremy could get you into porn, would you do it? No. Why not? I don't feel like I'd be a good performer. You wouldn't be a good performer. You can't fucking come when I, there's not cameras yeah, on Yeah, I can't I, come. That's okay. You don't need to. Uh, <laughs> Farside, how about you? Would you do a porn, Farside? Would you do porn? He would in a minute. He just put his dick in a book. Why, why would he do fucking porn? <laughs> would you do a bukkake where you just had to walk in, wank on the face and walk away? If you could no. wear a gimp mask so they couldn't see it was you. Yeah, nobody would know it's you. They'd know it's me. You've seen my build. Yeah, now also there's a tattoo with my name on it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. That I need to see before I leave. Would you do right. porn, though? No, I don't think I would. Really? I've dreamt about it. I've thought about it. Really? Dreamt yeah, we've all dreamt about it. Every time we're having a wank to porn, that's what we're thinking <laughs> yeah. about. We're, we're, we're all thinking, we're well, I'd like guy. to be there in POV. this situation. Chewy, how about you? Would, would you fuck a pinata? Uh, maybe. <laughs> what you, what, come on, be honest. No, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get into porn. If I'm, Machete did it, it would start as a porn movie and end as a snuff film. <laughs> 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 that's that's one of the funniest things I you've ever said. I love the team, man. You guys got the team. It's We're about, missing one. Got to film this shit. <clears throat> We're missing our filmer. Her name is Lalit. Right. Lalit's our Armenian girl who films everything. And Lalit heard Brad was the guest tonight, and she said, "I have to work." She works over at that like. She ran off to get a shoehorn. She said, uh, 
She goes, I'll be weekend. over to take pictures of Brad and then I'll go back to work. Like she wanted to, she wanted to come over because you were here. And yeah. she lied. Anyone else? No, she'll she be here. Trust me. She'll show up. She'll be here like any minute. Uh, I've got, I've got an interesting piece of information, though. Uh. Jason's mom's favorite TV show. Oh, yeah. Time. My mom loves you, dude. Oh, my God. Absolutely. And Thank his mom has cancer. Yeah, she has cancer. Yeah. All she does is I think watch. she gets it from seeing she watches on the screen. Every- yeah. that, wow. <laughs> that could, how's she feeling, man? She's, I'll take it from here, Joe. She got her... <laughs> <laughs> She does her third round of chemo tomorrow, and uh, she's doing better. Like the first round, ding gave ding her, ding. The first round gave her like a reaction, but yeah. all she watches is everybody loves Raymond. We should the best man. Will you do that? Yeah. We should call o- his o- mom. Oh, o- o- she watches. We call Linda. O- 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 she watches is everyone loves phone. Raymond and her T cells. Get her on the phone. Yeah. Well, my my speakerphone doesn't work. You you want to call, call her? Shocker! I'll call her. Uh, yeah, I think she want to hear from me. I'll call her. And then does we'll go back to... Uh, does your mom... Yeah. Well, Ron Jeremy I, I, I imagine we should use my phone because yeah, you'll have a phone call from a son where she doesn't have to call back because you have low minutes. Let's speaker phone Brad and What's Ron Jeremy name? at the same time. <laughs> Linda. See Can Linda. we get your mom and Brad and Ron Jeremy on a three-way? <laughs> <laughs> In a three-way. Yeah. That's what I'm going to jerk off to. All right. All right. Linda. You know, she won't know me. No, she'll know you. You've got a distinctive voice. Ron Jeremy. Did you, you tell your mom him. that you're going to meet Brad sister. Garrett tonight? No, no, I didn't. This would be a complete surprise. Oh, well, it might make her hang up. Just ask it for Linda. Be. No, they're, they're very Linda. polite. Put her on speaker. You asked for Linda, didn't you? Put her on speaker, Jason. Put her on speaker. Linda? Here, I'll, I'll start it. Thanks. Machete's really good with this stuff, though. Thank you. You're all, all over it. <laughs> it's calling. It hasn't, it hasn't got through yet. Oh, God. AT and T's not good. Yeah, it's been weird lately. What kind of cancer does she have? It started in her colon, okay. and they did uh, surgery, and then it uh, got into her. Limb. Started in a womb thirty-eight years ago. <laughs> forty. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, 40. it went into her in a meta- it took metastasis. Him a, took him a long time. System, so they had to do the. They put the thing in and all right. that. I just hit my head. Yeah. Is this it? That's not. That's not the right number, Jason. That's why it's not working. The number you dialed has been disconnected. Learn no, it. no, 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 no. This that's not your mother's number. Yeah, number. Maybe his mom knew. That and number. She, no, that was number works. And no, you had four two four fuckface. Oh, I, it must have four two three. I, I think it's, it's, we'll try right, four two four, four fuckface. Four two. <laughs> 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 that's my number. Four two four fuckface. Jim, be nice. All right. Yeah, it's my mom. Jim, be nice. It's Linda. Is it Mrs. Hour? Yeah. Bless her, man. Give her my best if we don't get in touch with her. Well, Just, this will make her day, talking to you. Not really. <laughs> Pick up the phone, bitch. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to help his ratings. Hello, you've reached 9 Oh, no. Yeah, like cut that out, the Le- number. Le- we'll, we'll cut out Le- the number. Le- we'll delete Le- Le- the number. Message. It's for Linda. Yeah, hey, Linda, it's uh, Brad Garrett calling. Um, and Ray Romano. And Ray Romano. <laughs> We're calling from underneath Ray's wallet. Um, <laughs> we hope you're doing good, Linda. I'm sitting here with your, uh, your son, Jason, and uh, his cronies, and uh, we're just thinking about you and hope you're feeling better. And um, uh, if you need anything, please call Jim Jeffries. <laughs> at, uh, he's a giver. <laughs> and uh, we hope you're doing good. We're thinking about you. Sorry I missed you. And I'll try you. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll just try you every 10 minutes till I get you. <laughs> <laughs> you take care. All right. Uh, it was very sweet. Thanks, Thank Brad. you, Brad. I don't, nice. I don't, pleasure, know, I don't know what it is about parents in that generation where they have to say the number. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You've reached four seven six five three, and like you're, you're like you're like thinking about the number <laughs> when you ring. I'm like, oh, good. I learned my lesson that I had to have on my voicemail. It's just the it's the uh, 
the robot doing it, just going, yes. you've reached. Because yeah. uh, I, don't, of, I don't think it's a robot, Eddie. Whatever it is. Okay. One of my fans, or one of the fans of the show, got mad at me for posting pictures of his girlfriend on our Facebook page. And he wrote a mean comment. He said, you know, you suck, Eddie. You're not funny. So right. I just looked at his Facebook page, and I clipped his girlfriend's picture, and I put it on the page. I went, well, your girlfriend's fat. And all her fans wrote about how fat and ugly his girlfriend was. Wow. Well, then he went to war with me. Yes, that'll and happen. he posted my phone number everywhere on the internet he, he could still likes it. me. And do, do you still get comments from him? Yeah, he, he, still still, he still likes me. He's but I got, I, I got messages from... The, have you ever heard the messages from Hey, this leave guy? him alone. He's a good guy. Now, now, did you change your number? I'm hoping. Uh, I changed my number. Right. But uh, <laughs> he, here's, here's him calling me. What did you say? Yeah, I guess you kind of fucked up pretty bad now. To the point where I've had to call you again. Well, the first part was on your Facebook page. You've got about, I'd say, I'll be honest, an hour to take it down. That's being kind. After that, I'll go back to doing what I was doing before. And I'll put your phone number, home address. Sounds like Jim. Fuck. I'll even put on your uh, Skype accounts, your Facebook accounts, put a lot. You will go wide. Also, this is also online bullying. So. Sounds like a guy with a fat girlfriend, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, a newspaper. There was a recent case on it. Michelle, so how fat do you think really he is? Okay. So, okay. All right. Okay. Give, so, give me the penis book. So, I've had it. So then, so then, here's the first message. Hi, Eddie. Some guy named John Hughes posted your phone number on your YouTube page and uh, <laughs> said, "Call and tell him what you think." And as I'm sitting on my toilet taking a shit. I wanted to call and tell you that I like you, and I like your show. <laughs> and I like you. That's very okay. My name is Rick. I live in Ohio. Thanks, <laughs> Rick in Ohio. <laughs> Rick is the coolest. That's the best. Rick called right back. Hello, Mr. Ift. Um, Still I shooting. I called you a few minutes ago. Rick from Ohio. Uh, guy taking a shit. Um, as I'm completing taking my shit, um, I wanted to call and leave you my phone number. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to call somebody and talk. Oh, boy. Don't you, but he's fine, number one. Three, one, zero. I'm playing with my balls. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so that... Well, that there goes the shake goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All All right. It's like a fist bump with the left hand. On that note... I'm gonna go Thank have you a, for having have me. Piece. This was our this best was episode our, ever. Yeah, ever. Right. I think our best. Yeah, you're all. Yeah, you you got to say that, Jim, to all the guests. Only more. You said. You Thank you again, Brad. Brad, do you have, any, do you have anything to plug? Not you, a thing, man. Come on. You want our fans at your... Plug, baby, no, just, go, to his, go to his comedy club in Vegas. It's my favorite club in, in Vegas in the MGM. Thank, thank you, Brad Garrett. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs>